But imagine if you could build your driveway, patio, or sidewalk with a material that you knew would last not just years, but maybe generations. Well, you can, and it's not some space-age process. It's something that's been around in some way, shape, or form for centuries. Pavers. We're getting right to the head of this project with the president of Brick Pavement of Indianapolis, J.D. He's here overseeing things right now. Tell us, if you would, are there distinct advantages to pavers in projects like this, or is it strictly a, a beauty issue? I think it's both. I think it's aesthetic, but I think it's also longevity, uh, durability. It lasts a lifetime. To me, I think it's the best possible solution, and I think most people will tell you that they feel the same way. Ancient Romans used paver stones, colonials used cobblestones, and today's homeowners, like Matt Banker, continue to see the advantages of using pavers. We started looking at decks, but we've had a deck before, a lot of the work of uh, staining it yearly. Uh, then we looked at the new compost decking, and I guess pavers just were a little upgrade from that. It's not just the durability that's appealing to builders and homeowners, it's also the versatility and the visual appeal, which is why as much thought is put in the design as is effort in the installation. For us, every project starts with a layout. It's a meeting with the customer to talk kind of what their needs are, both from a lifestyle standpoint, how you're going to live in the space, how much space do you need, how much furniture you're going to use on the space. From that, then we develop a plan, and the plan can be lots of different shapes, lots of different sizes, but it's tailored specifically to that client's needs. Pavers have come a long way just in the past probably five years. There's tons of colors, there's tons of styles, textures. You have vertical with walls, you have paver um, patio styles, so that the the opportunities are endless. It really came down to about two or three pavers. Uh, they brought them out, we kind of laid them down beside the house and let my wife take a look at them and ended up being an easy decision. A well thought out design is pointless without well executed installation. It's all in the prep work. So from a day one, we're gonna excavate. That's gonna really depend on the site. It's also gonna depend on the application. Like for instance, a driveway is gonna have more base material than a patio would. Here we dug down about eight to 10 inches. We put down a fabric material called geotextile. That helps to separate the gravel base material from the dirt so that they don't mix together. We then bring in our base material. The base material here happens to be commercial limestone. We use a plate compactor to compact that to get that strong base material. Once the base is set and everything's ready to go, then we actually scrape the sand using pipes. Um, it happens to be concrete sand material here. And then we start laying the pavers in, in pattern and the shape that it needs to be in. For here, on one side, we're actually using a seating wall. So that helps to retain and also defines the outside edge. It's a vertical element, so it's bigger, heavier duty stones. Every stone is cut to create that radius shape. You have a lot of time and labor and materials just to cut and make curves. It all has to be individually measured and individually cut. No matter what step in the process, from excavation to custom cutting, taking shortcuts or cutting corners and installing pavers is paving the way to a project that won't be able to stand the test of time. I started a uh, paver project last summer. I put in a fire pit, which my wife was satisfied with, but uh, when you do it yourself, you really know where you missed uh, some certain things, and I just wasn't real satisfied with it, and uh, I can only imagine trying to put in a full patio. Which is exactly why Matt decided to leave it to the professionals. We meet with a lot of homeowners who talk about maybe doing it themselves, and I think it's all about education. It's explaining to them, first of all, the cost of the materials alone, Second of all, the rental equipment that they're going to have to buy. And third and foremost, moving it back. It's heavy material. It's back-breaking work. And time. Absolutely. But a project that takes more thought, more time, and more effort is going to cost you more. So you want to be comfortable with the contractor who's going to get the job and your money. After watching them install or start this, I'm glad it's a project I didn't try to take on myself. Um, they've spent a lot of time on the base, which to me I consider the most important part of it, so they've done a great job on that. But this project isn't something the Barkers consider so much an expense as they do an investment. We made the decision that we're going to be here at least 10 years, and I think in that time we'll enjoy it enough to make it worth it. So if you haven't been considering pavers for your drive or your patio project, maybe you should. After all, it's a project you're going to have to look at and live with for a long time. Pavers are a little bit more expensive, but they're also more durable. So look at it this way. You won't have to take a picture because it will last longer.